Hey guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and this is just a really quick video showing you something cool about Soul Sacrifice Delta and importing it to play on your current PSN account that is not Japanese. So, my friend and fellow YouTuber ZephyrBaby1 has been doing Soul Sacrifice Delta videos for about a week now. And I noticed on one of his videos he was able to transfer his save file from his UK Soul Sacrifice over to his Asian version of Soul Sacrifice Delta. Now at the time I just assumed it was because his version was Asian and that's why he was able to do that. But now I can confirm that you can do the same thing with the Japanese version of Soul Sacrifice. So this is my main UK PSN account. You can see here that I've got my UK version of Soul Sacrifice and next to it my Japanese version of Soul Sacrifice Delta. Now I don't know if this is going to work on like French accounts and things like that. You can only try it and see if you want to go down this route. But basically pop in the game you will need to do an update which I do recommend doing first of all so come to this screen look for the yellow arrow and do the update once that's done head into the game and to load your soul sacrifice save with soul sacrifice delta you need to select new game tap yes tap ok and here you will see that it has located my Soul Sacrifice save, which is Ray Miria. A lot of my subscribers will know that I've done over 170 episodes with my character Ray Miria, a Let's Play walkthrough of Soul Sacrifice, which is linked in the video description. So if I just press I, you can see here that it's got all the information and um, it's got the updated date, it's got my character name, it's got my level, my neutral arm and also my playtime. So you may wonder what is the benefits of transferring my save to Soul Sacrifice Delta? Well for a full list of details on that check out the video description um, but basically you can transfer some sigils, some raiments, some offerings, lacrima and things like that. I may have forgotten a few things but all the details about what transfers is in the video description. So once you tap on this save it will basically convert that save over to a Soul Sacrifice Delta save. So if I tap on continue you can see here that it says Raymeria again so you can tell that it's the same save file but it's just loaded it with Delta as a brand new save. If I go on information, I haven't even started the game yet, so that's why it's only six seconds long. You can see that I am back down to level 1-1, one, one, so you don't get to carry over your level, but you do get the few bonuses. So basically, the bonuses allow you to have early access to spells, and um, costumes, sigils, so it does give you that early game boost. And apparently someone's also told me that you do get to kind of bypass some of the early game stuff in Soul Sacrifice. When I say bypass, um, I'm told that it is already unlocked if you're transferring your save over. So once you've done that initial tutorial against the Leviathan, you can get straight to the Delta content basically. Now the major con to transferring your save file um, is that obviously since this is a Japanese version of the game or an Asian version, whichever version you've imported, you're not going to be able to play it online because like Soul Sacrifice it does have an online pass. So again if it comes with any costumes like mine does, if you are trying to play it on a UK PSN account you will not be able to use the online pass or any DLC codes. So that is a major con because this kind of game is enjoyable online and a lot of people will want to play it online. So that sucks. So basically you're going to have to weigh up what is better for you, whether you want to have those initial boosts if you are importing the game or if you would rather play online. 
So that's a decision you need to make. Obviously, if the game, or should I say when the game comes out in English, because there is no doubt in my mind this will come out in English. It's done very well and it's very successful. So I do think it will come out. And obviously, this question won't be so much of an issue. It will just be a case of if you want to experience the game as a new game or if you would prefer to carry your save over, you won't have to worry about the online pass and things like that. So hopefully this video has been helpful and informative for some people. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you next time.